Today I'm heading out with my Nikon D850 to do some wildlife photography at a place called Kambacho Sanctuary. It's a pretty cool name, Kambacho. Lots happening, so stay tuned. In this video, I'll be sharing some photo and video examples of the Nikon D850. I'll put my settings for each photo at the bottom of the screen, and if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. Kambacho Sanctuary is a flora and fauna reserve and consists of awesome walking tracks, picnic areas, bird hides, even suspension bridges that overlook waterfalls. Hmm, when they're flowing, that is. Along with my Nikon D850, I've got the Nikon AF-S 80-400mm 4.5-5.6 VR lens. A favourite pairing of mine for its mobility factor and its relatively lightweight. I still use a shoulder strap though to give my arms a bit of a rest every now and then. There were plenty of ducks, turtles and other water birds on this pond. I've never actually seen colours like this before on this one particular duck. Almost albino looking. Not sure exactly what breed it is, but I'm hoping you duck whisperers out there will let me know in the comments below. There were a lot of water dragons around everywhere, so they made for some nice subject matter. Now, this guy had the right idea. Half in the pond and half out getting some sun. Just needed some sunnies and one of those cocktail drinks with a little umbrella in it and all would have been perfect, I think. Kambacho has some nice viewing platforms to check out the forest canopy and enclosures like this one specifically for different frog species. Not that there was any frogs that I could see today, but there certainly looks like there were some on their way. From here, I headed down to the river. I couldn't really spot any platypus that are reportedly in this area, but it is extremely rare to see them in the wild. Plus, I wasn't there really at the right time either. It's better around dawn or dusk to see those guys. It certainly looked like the right environment for them though with lots of underwater rock structures to hide, explore and get their food. One thing I did find down there though, was birds. Lots and lots of birds. Just a little willy wagtail here. I've just got a um cormorant down here I'm just going to go up very slowly actually I can just see through the gap here it's 
just got to wait for it to look around. It's going into manual. I'm going to shoot at something like about 500th of a second. He's not moving very fast. I've never seen this fairy wren before. He's like all speckled. So that little fairy wren that I was chasing before, he's just flown into this bit of dense bush here. They flew up, there was two of them, flew up underneath this gap and they're currently underneath. I dare say that'd be a nest because that's normally their type of uh, nesting type territory. So I don't want to bother them. I'll just back away and let them go. I just heard that unmistakable sound of the rainbow beater and there's two of them. One's just down on the lower branch here and there was another absolutely stunning one up high. I love the way these guys fly there, it's just so quick. But there, there he is, he's back. Oh no, it's finches. We've got finches too. There's everything here. Well, here he is. Just love those colours out of the D850. Well that was Combacho Sanctuary. I had so much fun. There was such a diverse range of wildlife here and I really had fun using the Nikon D850. Well guys, Thank you so much for watching. As I always say, never stop creating and I'll see you next time.